Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I, uh, I wanted to let you know that I bought a new tester to test batteries and other, uh, other equipment, I guess you could say, but mostly just batteries. You've probably seen it on YouTube before, but I really wanted to get one because I have a variety of things that I want to test. So uh, let's check this thing out. It is the Cool Master. And everyone's probably seen it before, but I really wanted to get one of these because here are some of the things that I wanted to test out. The first thing I want to test out is I have this 20,000 milliamp battery pack. Uh, it's from Belkin. I've had this for a couple years, and I really wonder if it still holds 20,000 milliamps. So I'm making sure that it's completely full, and then we're going to do a capacity test on it. Next is the Flashfish E200. Um, I believe it has around 40,800 milliamps. And then I have this 50 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery from Ampere Time. And we are going to test this as well to make sure that this still has its, uh, its 50 amp hours. So let's go ahead and get this thing ready to go and uh, start testing this. Okay. This little tester, all it came with, here's the packaging for it. Uh, it came with this taped up bundle of cable. It looks like a USB to alligator clips and then maybe something else. So I still need to open it. The tester itself. And then in here is uh, the power cord. So, and then it also came with a, uh, an adapter for, a, um, I guess for 240, that's for European. So it just goes right over this. But we're going to go ahead and plug it in, and I believe we're going to test this Belkin first. I've never used this tester before, but I believe we can just plug it in. I believe we can just plug in that USB port right here, and it will, and then we adjust it with these, and it will just start running. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, I just plugged it in, and uh, I think we need to hit this button to get it to English. There we go. And if we hit it again, uh, there's another screen. It looks like it shows the volts and the amps pretty good. So let's go ahead and just plug in this. And I believe it actually has a USB-C port right here. And that's what we're going to actually going to be using to test this Belkin. So let's put this in a charging port here. Don't, you don't want to touch these fins, they're real light, and you don't want to bend them, so. Let's go ahead and plug this in here. Okay, well, it shows 2.24 volts, so we're going to go ahead and try to do a one, a point 0.1c test, because I want this to take a while. Uh, because a point 0.2c test should take about five hours, but, you know what, I am going to do a point 0.2c test, and it will just finish because it will keep all of the information. So when I get home from work tonight, I'll, uh, I'll be able to check it out. And if it's a 3.7 volt nominal, uh, that would make it, uh, I need to do an 8 amp hour test. So let's go ahead and, well this thing does not like this battery at all. It's because it's I'm overloading these ports like a big dumb idiot. So I need the output to be 2.4 amps at the most. And we are going to put it at 2 point, we're gonna do it at two volt, two amps. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I was thinking I could just crank it up and it didn't care, but these things have specific outputs and, and if you go over, they just shut off. And that totally makes sense. I, I just wasn't thinking. So we're gonna let this run and uh, we're gonna see what the capacity of this battery pack is. So I'll be back in probably, who knows how long it's gonna take. Okay, I just got home and I want to see how that uh, battery tester did with that, uh, that phone charger that we had plugged into it. So let's check out what our capacity was. As you can see, the tester is now turned off because the fan is turned off. 
and our result is, oh my gosh, 13.11 amp hours. Let's see, and also 60 watt hours. So maybe we should go by the watt hours. But uh, that, I believe, is the capacity of this, uh, this battery bank has diminished over the years. So the next one we're gonna test, this thing is full. We're gonna go, go ahead and test the Flashfish E200. Um, and I think we're going to go ahead and plug it in to a DC port and use the DC port on our tester. So let's go ahead and hook that up and test it out. All right, one thing I didn't really think about is how do you zero this thing out? How about we just hold down this button? You think that'll zero it out? Oh, look at that. That was super easy. So far, this, uh, this battery tester is... It's very easy to use. So, it's, okay, let's go ahead and hook it up. I believe the only thing that we really need to do is plug this in. Plug this in. And this says total output 10 amps. So we're gonna go and try to do five amps through this barrel plug. Turn this on. Oh, turn these down. And it says 12.4 volts. Yep, so these are 12 volts. So we're gonna go ahead and do five amps. That's how we're gonna test this unit. So let's go ahead and turn this up to five amps. Okay, see, and that's all there is. It's super easy. Uh, this test is probably, I don't know how long it's gonna take. All right, well, let's go ahead and keep it at that and um, we'll come back when it's done. All right, well, I just came down here and uh, this, this tester is done, and this, uh, this flash fish is dead. And look at these numbers. This is not as good as I thought it would be. So here, look at this. Look at the watt hours. The watt hours are 109.79. And on the back of this flash fish, capacity 151 watt hours. I mean, that's, that's only like, I mean, my math's not the best, but I'm pretty sure that's only what, 75%. Is that right? I mean, if this was a regulated, if, if these, if these ports, if these ports were regulated, um, I'd be, I'd be good with that. But these are unregulated ports. They're, they're not regulated. So I would have thought that it should be better. I mean, it's possible that maybe I pushed too much power for this tester. Like, you know, it's, I, I don't think I did a 0.2C test. I don't know, maybe this tester is wrong. So that's why I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and test the capacity of this battery right here. Cause I can do this, it's 12 volt, uh, it's a 50 amp hour, so I can do a 10 amp test and that's a 0.2C. So this tester right here should give me 50 amp hours from this battery. And if it doesn't, then this thing is, I can't trust it. So. Let's uh, go ahead and get this wired up and ready to go. All right, I uh, just got done charging this battery. Um, you can see the light is green. So there should be a nice full battery sitting right there. So what I did is I went ahead and got some, uh, some 10 gauge wire and screwed them into the terminals right here. On the bottom, it does show the, the plus and the minus so you know which ones go where. And I just fashioned some ring terminals at the end to fit onto this battery. So let's go ahead and wire it up. Okay, the tester is wired up to the battery. So we're gonna go ahead and crank this thing up all the way. Cause we're gonna wanna do 10 amps. There we go, perfect. 10 amps at 13.3. This should be, oh shoot. You know what I forgot? I forgot to reset it. Turn it off. There we go. So it'll probably be like 49.9 now, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and kick it back up. There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and let this run for five hours. And hopefully it reads right around 50, hopefully it reads right around 50 amp hours. If it doesn't, then I, I must have a bum unit. But we'll see. I think this will be the test to see if this uh, 
this battery tester is is accurate. So see you back in five hours. Okay, well, I let this test run overnight and I just woke up. So let's go ahead and see what the numbers are for this 50 amp battery. And we are looking at 49.09 amp hours. Uh, I would say that is pretty accurate because I, I did a really quick charge on this battery before plugging it in. So I didn't let it soak or anything like that. So I would say that this tester is accurate. So the numbers for the battery bank and for that flash fish are probably correct. I'm going to charge up that flash fish again and, and test it again just on my own to, to see if I can get better results. And uh, I'll post them in the, in the comments if I do. But yeah, this overall, if you need a little tester, this thing is, I like this thing so far. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to continue using it for, uh, maybe for some big size batteries and uh, some other battery banks that I have. Um, but it's pretty nice. It's just, it's something that you can just hook up and, and leave it. You don't have to worry about it turning off. And it runs really quiet. It's easy to hook up. It has lots of little ports. So you can plug in, you know, USB-Cs, just regular USB, micro and mini USB. So if you want to do tests on small, small battery devices, um, you know, you might want to consider getting one of these. They're pretty nice. Okay, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you have any questions about how this tester works, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you like this channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great morning. Bye-bye.